Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. <clears throat> Let's uh, put our little bar where we uh, needs to go so that we don't pick kill our uh, our viewers with uh, sound. So we have star shift. Let us take a look at. Um, screenshots. There we are. So the screenshots look gorgeous. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say they look gorgeous. I'm seeing an action bar right here. That's pretty cool. I'm seeing that you can have more than four characters. You can have seven characters. Yo, beast mode. So this looks all interesting. Um. Doesn't look like any RTP graphics that I usually see in other RPG Maker games. <gasps> wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so we got a Mode 7 going on. Super cool, super cool. <clears throat> then we got this, uh, I think that, that, that looks like a tactics highlight. So that looks pretty cool right there. That looks like uh, there's some battling going on, maybe. Then we got this, uh, um, which is the actual battling, and then we got world exploration, I think that's what it is. And then we got this system right here, which I am sure I will be finding out how that works. Galactic map, that's what it's called. Cool, so the, we got more than one map. <clears throat> Galaxy map, Procyon, Alpha Centauri, and Sol. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. So, uh, let's give this game a shot. I'm going to go ahead and say that I wanted to download this game on the itch the on the itch page, but uh the itch page was not updated. Like, and it hadn't been updated in months. And so that is unfortunate because we need to be able to download you know, or make our games available for all players, not for just one platform. That will get your name out there. And that's what you want to do. You want to get your name out there. So without further ado, let's get this bad boy started. Okay, no, um, mmm, mmm, baby, mmm, so, uh, everyone that watches my, uh, first impressions is already familiar with my, um, with, with my, I'm gonna call it a pet peeve, I guess, I, is that what they call it when you, like, when you don't like something full screen I don't like when full screen gets thrown uh, shoved down my throat I really don't general can we get rid of full screen can we get rid of it No, we can't get rid of full screen. Enemy difficulty? Heck yeah, for the sake of uh, uploading. For the sake of this video. Show radar. Radar size. Nice. So we got some pretty good options related to the actual game. I just, I'm not happy that I have to continue to u do my little thing right here in order to access other stuff that I usually like to access. Like this right here. So it looks like the game is in full screen. 
The last time another developer tried to pull this off, shove a full screen down my throat. It looked like I was playing it in full screen and I was like, I could see everything, you know? But the video was only on the top left corner of the screen. That's the only thing that showed up. And so it is unfortunate for that developer, you know, I wasn't aware that that's something that happened. But uh, not because not because of technical difficulties, I just don't like full screen getting, at least not on PC. Anyway. Enough of my rattling. So many bodies. This is a massacre. Wait a minute. One of them is still alive. Looks like their head got pit pretty hard. Got hit pretty hard. Hey, wake up. Come on, hang in there. Are you male or female? Are you even Terran? It's hard to tell what you look like under all this blood. The DNA scanner isn't able to get a clean reading. Can you place your finger on the scanner? No, I will not place my finger on the scanner, gosh darn you. Don't tell me how to live my life. This is me, I remember, I'm human. Okay. We're gonna be Piccolo. Just kidding, we're not gonna be a Piccolo. Whoa, dude, we got a Hydra? <laughs> Sick, man. No. Um, you know what? We're gonna be a cat boy. This guy like looks like Cloud. That's cool. But we're gonna be a cat boy. Yeah, we're gonna be a cat boy. This is me. I rem or I, I, I mean, meow. meow. Yeah, uh, yes, I'm sure of it. We're gonna be a cat boy. Don't go back to sleep. Stay awake. Can you hear me? What's your first name? Okay, so I can... So we, uh, we can type the name. Let's see... We're going to call ourselves Nerd Boy. Let's go, Nerd Boy. Okay, good. At least you remember that. What's your last name? My last name is Mansion. Nerd Boy Mansion? Great! You remember, now I'm going to ask you a few questions. We need to make sure uh, your long-term memory is okay. According to the records matching your name, you used to serve in the ESA Navy. What did you specialize in? Strength, my boy. Strength. We like raw power here. Cons, we slow. Mediocre power, attack, defense. That's yeah, okay. Strong physical defense and strong physical strength. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. You remember that too? Very good. You're a freaking genius. You might make it all the way. After all, save game? Sure. Catboy. Now I'm going to ask you another question. It's a long one. We have to keep you awake, after all. Can you tell us how uh, you got here from the beginning? I was just posted to my first command. The mosquito. Ka -ching! They're dropping out of warp and entering a debris field, Commander. Nova's bastards! You're not getting away with this. 
this time something no we're letting him get away take us out of warp and begin scanning for the ship sir yes sir we've dropped out of warp sir that's me right there guys the debris field is interfering with our scans they've opened fire return fire you idiots Dude, that's freaking cool. Well, don't tell me this is your first time in a real fight. I'm sorry, sir. Try to get behind the enemy vessel. Their engines are where they are most vulnerable. Activate the repair drones and use the asteroids for cover. If we get into trouble, don't wait for my orders. Just do it. We don't have any time to waste. Move now. Attack. Dude, we freaking smacked them dead silly. Tactical laser. Attack. Cool, man. Mm -hmm. What a loser! This guy's going down hard. Oh. See, he's shooting in front of me. The AI obviously doesn't know how to take advantage of shooting from the back. And I'm forcing him to move every single time just in case that provides any benefit to me. Oh, dude, you suck. Oh, man. Let's see how much damage I do from the front. Yeah, definitely better to attack from the back. I'm glad there's a real damage difference for forcing me to move around. This ship has been destroyed, sir. But our communications array was damaged in the attack. We'll never get back home. Thank you, Chief. Stand down, tactical alert. Get started on repairs immediately. Lieutenant Mansion. <laughs> They're using my last name? Awesome, bro. Awesome. Take us back to warp. Resume our original course. Sir, you got it, sir. It's nearly finished repairs on the communications array, sir. Good. Let me know when it's back online. Yes, sir. Your final academy review is quite impressive, Officer Valenti. No former graduate has achieved the rank of N and sign so quickly it must feel like quite an accomplishment to be so far ahead of the pack thank you sir it was a challenge but I had an excellent instructors how are you adapting to life aboard a starship I used to it sir uh, my parents were both uh, freight captains I have spent a lot of time in space
we're gonna let it go. We're gonna let you go, girl. We're gonna be, uh, we're just gonna look the other way. Sir, the communications array is back online. We have an incoming priority message. Priority one message. Priority one? That's highly unusual. Put the message through, chief. Yes, sir. Bro, oh, dude. Custom graphics, too? Custom face sets, custom graphics, and the animations in the back. Wonderful. Wonderful. Maybe it's a parallax. I don't know, but I I don't have to know. All I know is that it looks good. It looks good. The reclamation facility on Osiris 2 has been attacked by terrorists. You are ordered to report there immediately. Do we have any other information? Reports indicate the terrorists are heavily armed and have killed several workers. Oh, jeez. Command wants this problem dealt with once and for all. You are to engage the hostiles and end this threat permanently. This order also includes non-combatants assisting these terrorists. Yikes, non-combatants? Seriously? Central Command must have lost their freaking mind, yo. We have enough trouble as it is keeping order out of here. Look, I will make the rules. I just follow them. If you have a problem, you need to take it up with Central Command because they're a bunch of diglets. Understood, Mosquito, out. Lieutenant Mission, set a course for Osiris 2. That is freaking sick, yo. A little sound effect would have been nice, like choo, like the ship arrived or something. Hail them, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. The ESA Navy? Thank the stars. You're here. We need assistance in dealing with these violent thugs. What happened? We were attacked about an hour ago and barely escaped with our lives. It was horrifying. We need help. Do you have any information about these terrorists? Are they Nova's sympathizers? They posed as farmers and attacked us out of nowhere. Please help. Here are the coordinates. We are on our way. Hold your position and wait for our arrival. Thank you, Commander. Farming equipment. Looks like we don't know what they want with farming equipment. Lieutenant Mansion, Ensign Valenti, you're both coming with me to the service. Yes, sir. Sir, shouldn't you stay on the ship? You don't know what's going on down there. Uh, I need to see it for myself. Chief Otto, send down a dozen protection drones to provide backup and cover fire. Yes, sir. Prepare for transport. Grab the med, med kit in case we get injured. That's freaking cool, yo. That teleportation thing was freaking awesome. Thank the stars you're here. We thought we were finished. How many of them are there? We're not quite sure. We didn't really get a good look. Maybe 30? They appear to be ordinary customers. They attacked us out of nowhere. How do we get into this facility? The front entrance is to the west. But there are far too many drones in that part of the facility. So we shouldn't go that way. To the east, you'll find a magnetically sealed blast door. This is an underground entrance to the facility. Here's the ID card you will need to open the eastern entrance. Osiris 2 facility card. 
That's a cool freaking icon card, yo. Also, watch out for Bertha. Bertha? The Class 12 drone. How did you come into a possession of a Class 12 drone? They are not legal for civilian use. I, well, I think it might. We'll talk about this later. We need to take care of the immediate problem first. Please, be careful. Kill them before they kill us. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, I see. So, um, serious questions from ESA Central Command location in Osiris Farm Dump. Description and oh, great. So, we're being told that we should probably avoid Bertha? Is that is that what he was saying? But, uh, that's our mission, to destroy Bertha. No, we're supposed to kill the, uh, invaders or whatever. Uh-oh. We're stuck! We're stuck, guys! Let's bounce. Bro, Catboy looks so cool, man. Railgun rounds have ripped through, right through his torso. Oh, man. Wait a second. <clears throat> Status. Parameters. Strength 293, 299. Are you kidding me? I chose a dude that has the most strength, but she matches me. Man, that's lame. Um, okay, so we got skill sets, items, we got our medical kits, only works on organic life forms. Cool. Um, pulse grenade, very basic grenade, attacks all enemies. Nanobot gel, nanobot spray that heals all biological and technological team members. <clears throat> repair node, repairs nodes used to repair since 50% HP recovery. Only works on synthetic life forms. Freaking awesome. And the lighting too, the lighting is beautiful. Very beautiful lighting. Use the Cyrus key. I guess this is, this is one of the drones we were warned about. <clears throat> this is su good, awesome, awesome music, awesome. Now, for playthroughs, there's a reason why I only go with, um, that's freaking cool. The way he teleports like that.
See, I go for attack power so that I can just hit X and get it over with for playthroughs. Knowledge acquired in battle. XP. Awesome. Frayed wires. Keep your eyes open. There are certain to be more of these things. Freaking awesome, yo. So far, everything about this game is knocking the game into an awesome review, except for the full screen. That still has me a little frustrated. Well, rapid fire. A weapon temporarily set to full auto mode. Randomly hits enemies. Yeah, boy. They do some pretty decent damage. So that's how you want to play, hey? Oh, dude, I can see the items right here. That's freaking awesome, yo. Can we save? Save anywhere too? Awesome, awesome. Whoa! No, don't kill me. I'm sorry. Extreme a uh, fast and deadly strike to impale the enemy. Freaking should have known. See, the way... I can tell this is an MV card, an MV game, and not a VX game. Because uh, when I reset, it does that. Wonderful! This, this is what I want. See? We can minimize it and make it up. You have to press F4 though. So, I'm willing to have mercy on this developer because it is possible for the player to minimize their game and now I don't have to do retarded stuff like this all the time. So, we can indeed minimize the game. Yes, now I got my taskbar back. Awesome! Yes! Yes! Wonderful. So I'm not gonna dog the uh, developer for uh, points on uh, full auto on full screen because uh, we can minimize it. The auto auto full screen though, I, d I don't think it should be auto though. I, I don't think it should, be. but you know, it's just me. This water infiltration system works very well for how old it is, but that's not what we're here for. Ah! Ah! I forgot that there's a chest. Alright. 
Ka-ching! Awesome. Let's see. That does 263 damage. Our regular attack does 225 damage. And his regular attack does 239 damage. In conclusion, his skill is completely worthless. Let's continue. This water infiltration system works very well for how old it is, uh, but that's not what we're here for. Do I have learn skills? Performs uh, emergency medical trays on ally to stop bleeding. 40% HP recovery. Learned. Freaking awesome, dude. Except... It's really weak and it costs a lot. Save game. But that's probably because our MP will go up later down the road. So, who am I to question the balance? See, okay, so we know it does like 200 something something. Let's do regular attack. 265, yeah. His skill is useless. Am I missing something? Does that like stun or something? Maybe if it's stunned, then we'd have a reason to use it. Let's find out. I like the wires. See, a fast and deadly strike to impale the enemy. Maybe that means that... No, there's no casting time. So I don't... I, I don't know what the point of that uh, skill is. Uh, let's continue. Where should we go? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Cat boy is looking for you. I know, guys, I know. I save a lot. I gotta get me some water, though. Yeah, I gotta get me some water. Water! Alright, so I got my water. Mmm. Oh, dude! They've been massacred. It looks like no uh, nobody here put up much of a fight. Railgun rounds have shredded them to bits. Oh, jeez. Both staff and insurgents dead. Were the drones attacking both sides? Why were they fighting so close to each other? We've grabbed everything of value from the corpse. Let's see what's over here. And I like the atmosphere too.
<gasps> no! Oh, dude! <laughs> oh, jeez! I meant to save! Blah 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 Oh dude I just barely noticed the the uh face change <laughs> Hmm an H20 to fuel converter. An old one. An H20 to fuel converter. An old one. So they're converting water into fuel? That is nice. That's cool. All right, we got something going on right here. And we're going to check it out. Nerd boy Anna Valentine and Patrick Starfish. Ah! Dude, that's a lot of damage. Rapid fire. Oh, they're separate. They're too far away from each other. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Oh no. Oh no. Medical kit on this bad boy. Okay, on you also. Dude. 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 What the to revive works only on organic life forms of course of course That was horrible. We're going to try that again. But this time, we're going to be a little bit more prepared. What's up, bro? What's up?
The items are weak enough that they're useless during battle. Unless there's only one enemy. Repair drone! How? Dude, what is up with the crazy miss? It's useless. So, if we're going to be missing every other turn or every two turns, but we won't miss this, then if we can strike two enemies in two turns, we'll be doing more damage than with rapid fire over two turns. So attack is just simply the best option over any possible skill right now. So we're gonna continue to uh Fuck, I'm bleeding out. See now that we have an advantage of two characters over one, we can afford to use weak items. Oh man, we gotta grind. <clears throat> I uh I certainly earned my bread in that battle. <laughs> <laughs> what is here anyway? Nothing? What? Sokay nah Nothing. Is there really nothing? I'm not gonna call that battle useless. Because uh, we did get knowledge from it. Learn skills. What do we got here? Increase the agility of the user by putting the equipment into overdrive. Transfer 50% power from your power cells into another ally's power cells wirelessly. Unlicensed. An attempt to steal something from an enemy. Nice. User gains unusual focus in battle, increasing the chance of a critical. Critical hit, 300% more likely? What? Jeez! Let's do that on everyone. Oh no. As a felite, you are very fast and alert at all times. You are very aware of your surroundings. Agility plus 115%? Evasion rate plus 115% also? Dude. 115%? Plus 100%? 
so is it giving me plus 115% or is it going to put me at 150%? Because if it's giving me 150%, that is probably... Let's see what my agility looks like right now. Agility is 136, so 115% is... 136 plus 115, 251. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, percent, percent. My bad, my bad. 136 times 100 divided by 115%. So it would give me a total of 118 plus the 136 that I already have right now. It would put me at 254. But if it's only giving me 15% times 100 divided by 15%. Wait, what? 136 times 100. So it's only going to go up by 15%. 30. Wait. I can't get. Uh, I, I I don't know. What is the math for? Uh, plus twenty. So I would be at one hundred fifty six. Let us find out. So we are at 100. <gasps> what? Where did my agility go? Don't tell me it's a temporary skill. It's not a. It's not something that you permanently learn. I mean, uh, it's not a stat that it's added, is it? I don't know. <clears throat> We've made it inside the facility. Sir, this isn't adding up. All of the bodies we found from both sides, they're in close proximity to each other. Unusual for a typical combat situation. Have to concur, and Sigma. Insane. Let's move on. We don't want to waste our time when Bertha on the loose agreed let's move on use the cyrus key wait what Farm dump. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going, shall we? Dude, that is a sick map right there. Not only is it a sick map, but check this out. So, the, the, I like the grid thing. It makes it look like a map from RPG Maker. Freaking awesome, bro. Awesome.
I don't even have to click X for those uh, boxes. That's 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 cool. To uh, to open boxes, I don't even have to. Oh, and I can see the little question mark of where we might have to go. It's hard to believe these uh, were terrorists. Uh, we might as well take anything useful. <laughs> we robbing them. I wish the map would tell me a little bit more, though. Ah! <laughs> Bro, laser? Pathetic. Okay, so those skills we learned? Meditation. Yeah, so, uh, they are skills that we're going to have to 340 freaking awesome, yo. They are skills that we're going to have to use and lose a turn on. I was hoping it would just be a skill that, a stat that is applied when you purchase it, but it's okay. Because everything is going to be okay. So, uh, there's no, uh, levels, I'm guessing. Does that mean, uh, yeah, there's no levels. Uh, am I, I'm possibly never going to get stronger? Attempt to steal something. Transfer. Uh, I like passive skills better. See, these are all passive skills. It's going to be a while before I can get any passive skills. But these aren't skills that are permanent though, are they? I mean, they're, they're skills, not stat. They're not stat, uh, they don't increase stat, they're just a skill of that. And yeah, they increase stat, but you have to use it as a skill. I don't think it's permanent. So the only way to get stronger is this stuff right here. Awesome custom stuff right there.
Get away from me, you! Darn it. Whoa, dude! That's cool how theirs doesn't miss. Alright. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> No joke though, this uh this music is pretty it's pretty good. Pretty good music. What the heck happened here? Accessing, accessing the security log. What did you find? It looks like all the people from this room came from the door up ahead. Bertha's in the next room. They all bled out. None of them survived more than a few minutes. Their injuries were too extensive. Let's take care of Bertha. Their torso is ripped to shreds. What a horrible way to go. This is strange. The terrorists and the staff of this facility are together. Both teams must have been trying to escape at the same time. <laughs> I thought I opened the door by accident. I'm not trying to open the door yet. Ah. I don't think I'm going to survive this. Sniper shot. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Jeez, these guys are surviving by a little bit. What did we get? What did we get? Agonizing death. Looks like we got a couple stuff here and there. Leave me alone! Gosh darn you! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> he chased my tail down. Alright, fine. I don't want to, but whatever. It's just that we're so weak. Well, we're not weak. The The game is balanced. Here's the thing though. I can't level up. <laughs> I don't know how to get stronger. 
And when it comes when it comes to uh streams When I'm doing a first impression, I like to be strong. <sighs> Heck yeah. Now we're talking. Have I missed anything? I just don't want to go. I don't want to go anywhere if I've missed something. Looks like I have. Looks like I have. Let's see how much stronger I am. Oh man, that's a long time to wait for a uh, save point. Let's see, am I stronger? Okay, my attack is still in the 200s. For Ana. Wide angle shot does less damage but strikes all enemies. Uh, am I gonna miss though? Is the is my accuracy rate going to be less? I did only increase my critical chance. It's not guaranteed that I'll get a critical attack. Let's see if I, I'll get a critical here. No, no critical. Looks like that's all. Yeah, it looks like that was all of it. We gotta go find Bertha. Come over here, Bertha. We've got a surprise for you. Wait, have I opened that chest before? Yeah, uh, I got it already. All right, let's get prepared for Bertha. Let's, uh, what is this, pulse grenade? Oh, of course, the grenade. We'll revive all users. Stem cell. 60% HP recovery only works on organic life forms. Repair node. Uh, 
small battery. Now we can uh, use your skill. And then use the small battery again. Okay, so as far as resources, we are not suffering for resources. I think resources are well balanced. The battles, which means the battles are kind of balanced too. They hit really freaking hard. Um, but uh, there, there's some balance to them. There is balance. Um, what is this? Makes a selected party member incredibly hard to hit. Makes the party incredibly hard to hit by implementing strategic evasion techniques. What is, uh, what about this over here? A formula generated by the body's own cells with the help of nanites. We almost got this. So I'm going to wait just a little longer. Take it easy on me, Bertha. Don't hit me too hard. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Let us fight the boss. This is strange. The terrorists and the staff of this facility are together. Both teams must have been trying to escape at the same time. Yo, this Bertha is freaking strong. Oh, jeez. Oh, dude. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to concentrate on one healer. Uh, Patrick will be the healer because... Um, <laughs> because <laughs> You know what? Item Slightly weaker than the standard grenade attacks on enemies 50% chance Freeze the enemy. 50% chance. That means if I throw three of them, there's a 75% chance that one of them, at least one will be frozen. Okay. I love this grenade, yo. Awesome! Yes! <laughs> I love the canary! I love it, man! I love it!
Awesome! Yo, Bertha's going down hard. Yo, you ain't got nothing against me, Bertha! <laughs> Small battery, jump battery, fried wires, uh, crack circuit board. Bro! There, boy, get down! Bertha's shorting out! Oh, no! Nerd boy, are you okay? Nerd boy. Yeah, I think so. And sign Valentine scan nerd boy just to be sure. Yes, sir. Mal damage to the nervous system due to electric shock, but I am the, but I am detecting something. What is it? Some of your implants have been damaged. Will it have to be replaced? No big deal. Let's move on. Easy? That was a whole freaking mission! Sorry guys, but you get, I'm sorry, but you're all dead, so I just, you know. A sad sight to see. Indeed. What, yo, Freya had nothing? Um, just in case... Now that we are at... ...1407, we're still not where we want to be. We need 1,500 knowledge. <clears throat> the Alliance! Oh god, no! Please don't hurt us, we're just farmers! I don't know how I've been recording for an hour and 14 minutes, but my save file just says like 30 something. Please don't hurt us, we're just farmers! Calm down, tell us what happened. Please spare my family, we didn't want any of this, we just wanted our equipment back, we're starving out here. The facility manager attacked us while we were salvaging. We don't want to mess with the Alliance, we just want to go home. Commander, uh, our orders were very clear. We were told to eliminate any terrorist sympathizers, even if they are not involved in direct combat. Oh, nice! So you got good side, bad side, and then uh, in the middle, we have to follow our orders. Let's let them off with a stern warning. But we should let this one slide. Uh, you know, I uh, am a bad boy. We're gonna let this one slide. 
I agree, Lieutenant. Some rules were meant to be broken, but we need to know what happened here. We came here to take back the equipment that was stolen from us. Our planet is desolate. We can't survive without it. Please understand. We did not come here for personal gain, only to live. We shouldn't follow orders that require us to kill innocent people. It's not right. It's also bad for the Alliance's reputation. There's no central monitoring here. Our actions aren't being recorded. You guys are free to go. Take whatever equipment you need most from this place and get the heck out of here. I wish you all the best. Stay strong. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The Alliance isn't so bad after all. We're getting the heck out of here. Thanks again. Objective failed. You can suck my big balls. Sir, I found something. What is it? A log. What does it say? They didn't... In they didn't initiate the fight. It seems uh, the facility manager wanted the farmer's ship for parts. The farmer refused. The facility manager ordered the drones to attack the farmers. Their ethical sub-routines prevented them from firing. It appears that the staff at this facility modified the programming of these drones. This is including the class 12. Something went wrong. The drones began targeting everyone and everybody. So they lost control of the situation of their own making then. Central Command clearly said we were to target non-combatants assi assisting the rebels. This includes farmers. The drones were shipped before this order came into effect. Maybe he was just following orders. Maybe have used many have used that phrase in the past. It's not a good reason. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm looking forward to getting back to the ship. Let's deal with the facility manager and get home. I like the vibe. And all this fog going around. The lighting. Wonderful, wonderful job. That's freaking awesome. So you can tell we're like at the very top of like the building. And it's all just destroyed and stuff. That's super cool, man. Awesome job. Looks like this one's fried. Oh, you made it back. Thank the stars. Why did you attack those people? How did you acquire your class 12 drone? It was shipped here directly from Earth, ESA Central Command. I was ordered to impound the vessels of all suspected novice sympathizers. I was told I could keep everything on the impounded ships as payment. I was given a, tw a class 12 drone to enforce that policy. I'm just following orders. Check with your central command. They will verify what I'm saying. 
I'm helping the Alliance. I'm doing a service. You should be thanking me for doing the dirty work. Come on. Let's get back to the ship. Chief, bring us back to the ship. Affirmative. Just like that. Orders are orders. Can't do anything to him. The two should get some rest. Uh, you two should get some rest. I need to file my report with Central Command. Do you think they will do anything about the facility manager? If nothing else, he lied about the threat. While all of this will be in my report, they tend to overlook these kinds of things. But surely you have some pull, sir. You're the famous hero of Raytheon. They'd have to listen to you. Things are not that simple. I don't have as much pull as you think. Why would a prized officer be assigned the minor task of patrol duty? Why do you think you were assigned here? And seeing top of your class, outstanding results on nearly every performance evaluation. No. None of this makes any sense, and I worry this is just the start. We got something fishy going on. We've been on duty uh, for almost uh, 17 hours. I'm ready to eat. It's no light task to prevent people from materializing as hamburgers. Hello, sir. I'm making sure the cargo MADCOM is in top operating condition. Ship is in transit. Airlock access denied. Hello, sir. Our tissue regenerator is not working. I won't be able to heal wounds quickly without it. So that's where we're going to be healing. That's cool. This is where we sleep. We're all glad you're back, sir. This is freaking cool. This is cool, man. This job is no fun without some prisoners to play with. Wonderful mapping. Wonderful mapping. <laughs> oh no, dude. You're lying to me. Oh no, dude. You're freaking lying to me, man. <laughs> no freaking way. And the lighting is wonderful, too. What? You're not gonna let me wash my hands? Awesome, man. Awesome. We're not gonna go there yet. We're not done exploring.
The choice of food on this ship is pathetic. Well, not as pathetic as you. That facility manager was a slimy little prick. He didn't even tell us the truth before we went in there. Yeah, it bothers me too. Why do you think Central Command sent a Class 12 drone to Border World? What were they thinking? The Alliance is trying to make an example out of any novice sympathizers. The war isn't going well, they have to do something. Do they really? Personally? I think these policies create more terrorism for the Alliance. Civilians out here see us as a threat, not as an ally. Ally, it didn't used to be this way, but sometimes, but times have changed. So many lives wasted, so much lost potential. We're in warp. Has the commander said uh, where we're going? I don't know. I came right here to eat. I never get a chance to talk to the commander Murphy. Isn't that your job as second in command to know where you were going? Haha, <laughs> I suppose so. That's where I'm heading next. Sir, about those implants uh, that burned out when we were fighting the drone. Don't get them replaced. What? I've already said too much, sir. A medical scan will show that your implants are in working order. The choice is up to you. See you on the bridge. I mean it, sir. If you don't want to forget, you'll take my advice. What? If I don't want to forget, what did she mean? Dude! It's an honor to serve with you, sir. We're going to shred some serious Novus ass. Long live the Alliance. Long live ESA. Dude, something's wild. If only we could get raw eel out here. I can't wait to get some home to earth. We've been getting a lot of strange missions lately, sir. What do you think is going on? Sorry, sir. I'm very busy. The engine has been harder to balance lately. The intermix ratio just isn't right. Cool. Hello, sir. I'm rerouting a few connections that burned out in our last encounter. Glad you made it back safe, sir. I'm. Uh, I am making sure the coolant flow is properly regulated. It's been giving me trouble lately. The engine Kuma system is operating at 87% efficiency. I'm trying to get it to 93%. So I just have to approach them and we get cool. I don't even have to press the X button. It's it's a feature, it's something I've considered doing in the past, but then I just don't do it. Because what if you bump into a character, you know, and you don't want to talk to him yet? But it's not a bad feature to add. Game definitely got interesting though when that girl told me. About uh. About not replacing my organs or something. Take your post, Lieutenant. Central Command has orders for us to return to Earth. Please stream the feed from your heads up display HUD. Yes, sir. The ESS Mosquito has been ordered to Station 11 Earth. The details are classified. All right.
Are you taking the helm? This is cool. This is beautiful. This is wonderful, man. Okay, and I see all the ships and stuff. That's pretty cool. Corvette? Are you serious? This is cool, man. I don't know where Earth is at though. <sighs> Go to Station Eleven, Earth, Soul System, Soul Cluster. Soul Cluster. Yes. Enter Soul System. Yes. So I have this game is going to be super, super, super big. this over here station 11 where's earth I'd like to know where earth is at oh man earth is dead yo water dried out Surprised we can get that close to the sun. Oh, that's Earth. That's pretty freaking cool, man. Docked with Station 11, docking clamps engaged, airlock release. Looks like we made it back to Earth in one piece. Uh, begin docking procedures. I will speak with the Central Command in person. While docked, the crew is free to explore Station 11. Sir, I'm going. I think I'm going to explore sta the station. 
It will be nice to get off this, this ship for a little while. I'll join you if that's alright. Sounds good. I'll meet you outside the ship in the docking area. Hello, sir. I have been monitoring communications chatter in our local star cluster. It's 32.5% above average. That typically, that typically means Novus is planning something. Alrighty. Da -da -da. Hello, sir. The tissue generator is almost complete. Maybe. So we're like in a world map looking thing. We have all the parts you need. I can't give them out for free, but I can sell that at cost. Let's see. Uh, we have all the parts you need. Oh, come on. Buy ship components. Equip armor with self healing properties. ships though dude I literally feel you know when you're afraid of heights and you're like oh no 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 I can't do this right now like like you just okay I'm afraid of heights right and so if I were to look down from only the third floor of a building I would probably already drop to the floor. Like I would drop to the I would get in the crawling position cuz I get like like I would probably get scared, you know? So like walking around and I see earth down there from a station that is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of feet and the air is ridiculous like it's giving me the illusion that I'm super high up and like it's it makes me dizzy that's a good thing it, it, it it's, it's making me feel like I'm actually there And that's a cool looking map right there too. Initiating body scan. You're clear. We don't need this much security, but Dr. Ra insists. 
That probably has something to do with me. I'm probably going to be a wanted man later in the game. I like how the camera is just recording me. So th this isn't actually me. That's the this is the camera. We're not allowed to speak while on duty. Get out of my way. Interesting. Dude. ESA com uh, commemorates the fifth anniversary of the Raxion incident with military ceremony. This is the Interstellar Network News Network. I am your host, Baron Williams. Tonight is the fifth anniversary of the Raxion incident, one that fateful day many brave men and women lost their lives. Dude, INN? <laughs> Tonight we remember their sacrifices, the heroes in uniform holding the galaxy on their shoulders for all for you, the Terran people. The brutal Novus terrorist attack began when agents were able to deactivate the planet's defense shield. This was the last footage captured of the Blood Omen, the horrifying bioweapon that destroyed Raxion 2. This resulted in the deaths of over 50 million ESA citizens. Most of us know a family member or friend that died in the attack. If this footage is uh, too disturbing for you, turn away from the screen. To add insult to injury, the brutal terrorists not only poisoned the air, they poisoned the waters as well. The seventh fleet was able to stop the blood omen, just in time to prevent a second attack. They're heroes, every last one of them. Awesome work, man, with the cutscenes and stuff. The measures put in place after the Raxion incident have kept our people safe. Nobody likes being spied on, but we have to say to ourselves, never again. We must remain vigilant as Terrans to prevent this from happening again. If you see something suspicious, report it to the authorities. Millions of lives hang in the balance. Now we'll move on to the latest weather and sports. I'm not so sure. I've always thought the official story was kind of fishy. How convenient reaching both of you at the same time. Welcome to Station 11. After you've had a chance to look around, report to my office at your earliest convenience. Yes, sir. I serve with pride. Very good. I'll see you soon. Jeez, that girl does not like anyone. Report to Director Ra's office. I'm guessing this goes to, uh, Yeah, I thought so. All of these go down to the same spot. Yeah.
apartments and offices. Awesome job. Just wait for my shuttle. I've been I've been reassigned to Central Command on the surface. Awesome job with the mapping and stuff, man. Clink. Float to the other side. Sure. Oh, that's so cool, man. Command center. Apartments. I love this man. So much detail. I don't like that there's too much to explore. I feel overwhelmed. But uh the mapping is awesome. Access denied, you don't live here. I know. I know. The earth. Was a mess. What a mess. I wonder if I can open this one. I'm giving. Look at all these pictures, man. Awesome. Man, I've got. I feel so overwhelmed. Look at all. Th there's so much. There's a lot. What? <laughs> no way. Crash Thrash has rage testosterone gel, raw cannabis. Plant from Earth, 20% HP recovery. Dude, look at these, man. Synthetic cheeseburger. I gotta say, man. Custom icons. Look at this TV, yo. Custom icons, custom tile set, custom character sets, custom face sets, custom battle, custom everything, yo. You can't tell. You can you almost can't tell this game was built using the engine that it was used on using the engine that it was built on wonderful job armory cool Terrans have no culture. Don't take it as an insult, however. Terrans are very formal thinking and focus on the future. My people are more rooted in tradition, but that tradition provides comfort. Mm -hmm. 
We have many traditions. I won't bore you with the details. The most notable tradition is our people commonly sing together. Sing together? That sounds pretty strange. Maybe for you. But it provides great comfort to our people. My people have a very wide vocal range. What does it sound like? There's nothing like it here. But the closest comparison I can draw is that it's similar to the Georgian chant from Earth's ancient history. We won't even need instruments. We can replicate almost any sound. It's quite beautiful. It can be destructive as well. Our vocal range is so wide that we can use our voices as a weapon. It's powerful enough to rip th through flesh as well as electronics. Jeez! I can tell I still have a lot to learn from your people. Uh, wonderful, wonderful with all the detail and stuff, man. Let's look over here. Access denied. You don't live here. So these are all of apartments, of course. Apartments. There's way, way too much to explore. Way too much. Wonderful stuff. All the... All the... Things that we are given. All the, all the armor and items that we can... Huge selection of items. And armors. So much to do. Awesome job. Weapons too. For a nerd boy. Freaking awesome, man. Site to site transfer. Cybernet Arena Armory. Welcome to the Cybernet Combat Arena. The Alliance rewards those who are diligent in the art of combat. Combat profiles have been added from over 400 worlds. As an officer, you can earn merit pay fighting opponents throughout the galaxy. All ESA controlled combat simulators are linked via central mode. However, Alliance punishes failure. Those who fail pay for those who pay for those who succeed. Do you want to fight in the arena? No thanks. I don't give a fudge in Krabby Patties. What is this? Don't worry sir, we'll keep anything in order here. Okay, so like a conference thing. Command central. Offices. I love it, man. I love it. You give me inspiration. Medical bay. That's cool. What's down here? Of course, nothing. It's meant to indicate that there's doors down here, but... Um... Without having to uh, add the rooms, 
that way you don't give yourself too much um, give the player too much to do oh you're here already director Ra is waiting for you it seems he has taken a personal interest in both of you I have been reassigned the assignment itself is classified so I can't say where I wish I could want to keep you out of this but it seems like it's too late for that now Sir, what is this about? I've already said too much. Good luck. What was that all about? Whatever it is, I don't think I like it. Okay. Um, if you guys are trying to find out what's behind those doors just as much as I do, then I strongly recommend you download the game. I this lore is starting to get thick. It's starting to get good. All the details, world building, all the flying around in space. That was super, super cool. That was awesome. I. Ah, that was really good, man. That was really good. So I let's let's um let's give it our score. Let's give it our score. Because it is getting late and I have to work tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. So this game is called... Starshift Demo. Starshift. Starshift. Mapping was awesome. Awesome. There wasn't too much space. There and there wasn't and the space wasn't small either, just enough space. Graphical detail. You went above and beyond with graphical detail. Like I can see the all the stars, the maps that you built for the galaxies and stuff, the planets. The uh, custom battling for uh, the uh, the ship. The ship has its own stats and stuff. Like a lot of stuff was really good. Battle balance. <laughs> Trash mobs should not be as strong as they were. I get that we have a lot of resources. We've been given a lot of resources for us to be able to continue to heal ourselves and grind if we want to. But what's the point of grinding? There's no leveling up. Like, um, so, so and then the battle, the, and then the boss, that's when battles should be difficult. But, uh, Bertha was like, I mopped the floor with Bertha. So, trash mobs need to be easier, and Bertha needs to be stronger. So, uh, boss is a little stronger, trash mobs need to be weaker. But, uh, just the way it, if nothing were to be changed with battles, this game is still rock solid. Battle rate. I feel like I was in battle enough, and outside of battle enough as well. Plot. Plot was starting to thicken. At first, it was like, eh, okay, so I gotta go down and do some stuff. Just beat Bertha, uh, dead bodies and stuff. All right, yeah, that's cool. But, uh, it, plot got thicker for me when, uh, when. Actually, let's give that a nine. Well, it's a demo though. So, 
plot got pretty thick later after we're starting to discover lies and you know uh, that one girl told me not to change my uh, synthetic organs and stuff like that because I might forget something or whatever like a lot of interest interesting stuff I was like whoa whoa dude something's fishy is going on um, music music was solid um, but it was just solid. I wasn't like, whoa, dude, oh, jeez, this is sick, you know, but, I mean, sick music, though, sick music, FX. I'm gonna give that an 11, FX were sick, FX were freaking sick, yo, they really were. All the uh, teleportation between one area to another in the map, then teleporting uh, from one area to the attack location when you're in battle uh, sometimes, and uh, like flying around in your airship and docking and stuff like that. You've built some interesting stuff, yo. That's freaking awesome. So, effects 11. Entertainment. Um, was I having fun? I was having fun, but I was overwhelmed. There is so much to do. The map was super big to. Like, there was so much exploring to do with Bertha and all that, which is not a bad thing. In fact, I would be, I just, I would just be gaming it up and fully entertained on the PS4 or PC or whatever. Um, but uh, while I was recording, because I'm recording right now. I was like, oh, I just need to get to the next spot. I just need to get to the next spot or whatever. Um, but uh, was I entertained? I was entertained. There is a lot that I have to learn, though. A lot that I have to learn. So we're going to give this an 8. Because I was entertained. Mechanics. You've built two battle systems the one with the ship and the one with the the normal uh, battle system but it's a front view battle system so you've built a battle a front view battle system for the uh, actors uh, the characters of the game and then you've built a secondary battle system for the ships Awesome job, awesome job, awesome job. Super great. And then you've got your other mechanics, which is um, things like the uh, where you can heal only the robot items that only heal the robots, items that only heal the humans, and then individual items for each um, type of organic and robots ever like different kinds of mechanics for different kinds of outside of battle and inside of battle i felt like i was being rewarded too actually so uh, rewards have to do with mechanics so uh, re you've done an awesome job with mechanics i think you did an awesome job with mechanics we're gonna give this game a score of let's see 10 Plus ten plus seven plus ten plus eight plus eight plus eleven plus eight plus ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um I did something wrong here. Let 
Let's do this again. 10 plus 10 plus 7 plus 10 plus 8 plus 8 plus 11 plus 8 plus 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So divided by nine, we got a nine point one. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a nine point one for this game. Yeah, we got a 9.1. Um, um, <clears throat> so, this game, Starship, gets a 9.1. Thank, th thank you guys all for uh, stopping by. Who am I? I am the Nerd Mansion. You can go to thenerdmansion.com. If uh, you are interested in contacting me so that you can uh, because if you are a game developer so that you can uh, send a request in and have your game played on this channel a first impressions of your game on this channel so this is who I am I also build a uh, I also develop games for PC so these are all the games that are available on PC and these are the uh, projects that are currently being worked on as of this date right here. So uh, yeah man, uh, show this developer here some love, Starshift. Guys, if it wasn't because I gotta go to sleep, not only that, because I'm recording also, that's why whenever I'm recording, I feel like I have to rush. But uh, look at these freaking gorgeous graphics. And looking at this right now, that was awesome, yo. That was awesome. I'm seeing a different ship right there instead of the red one. So I think you can change ships too. That is freaking sick. Show this developer some love. I would be downloading if I were you. This is an awesome game. Thank you guys all for stopping by. Ladies and gentlemen, Adventures of the Night. This was Starshift. I will see you guys in the next episode of The Nerd Mansion. Peace.